Hey guys, so Master Devin, do you want to review on Garmadon's Dark Fortress? The uh, most expensive Ninjago set and probably my favorite. This set blew me away. Um, I just built it last night. I got it yesterday, which is Sunday the 6th, which was when I updated that thing. Um, alright, so let's get on to the God Awesome minifigures. Alright, here, first off... Okay, hold on, let me just get into a good position. There we go, first off we have Nia. Well, this is good lighting, so... How about I go like this and then point at the carpet for the minifigures? There we go. Come on, focus, kick in. Focus is being an a-hole again, so... This is honestly the w most well-lit place in my, in my house. Anyways, here's Nia. Probably, she has... The Arena Spalco hair, the sort of boyish haircut. Whoa, it's like my shadow. That's so awesome. Anyways, yeah, it's like the Arena Spalco haircut. Oh, God, I'm gonna, so my head's not in the way. Yeah, you know, one of those. Um, and then she has her eyes. No, I'm just gonna try one last time. Nothing's working, so here is she has a basically a headband on her mouth and a double sided face. She has skin arms and sort of a fiery ward sort of thing with like a necklace and a belt. Sort of the focus is god awful, but then she has her sort of sash and more fire markings, nothing on the back. And she's an exclusive minifigure to sit. Here's Kai. Pretty usual um, ninja nice thing. I like how it's sort of like hooded. This is like my third Kai. Nice scars on his face. If you want better look at Kai, just look at the minifigure review. The robes and the emblem and then that. So yeah, basically. And then here's a figure that I'm going to be doing a minifigure review on. Here's Samakai. Um, my favorite minifigure. Um, yeah, basically, he has four arms, right? And in this set, you're supposed to put all four of the golden weapons, the scythe of, qu this, the scythe of quakes, the shurikens of ice, and the nunchucks of lightning in his hand. And he has, it's actually not bad focus, and she, he has his jaw opens really wide. I can actually fit my finger in there. And he has these nice extra spinal details. He's a chief bonehead. He's just so nice. A minifigure of you will be out on him. Here is Lord Garmadon. Um, this is going to be a hard one to review. He has a samurai helmet, which is dark gray with a bone on his head. Then he basically has... There, you can sort of see his face. It's like extremely zoomed. But he has sort of an open mouth and red eyes. And then he has sort of his corpse with a bone with, with his rib cage, and then a purple belt and black pants. And his thunder staff, which is half purple, half blue. Here is Bone's Eye. Nothing really new, just kind of um, crotch belt. His goofy face and his arms and his sort of like nails in his back and he's just really probably one of the least detailed. Alright, I saw the minifigure. So I'm gonna move on. Okay, hold on, let me just get these. Wait, I think I'm missing someone. Yay, it's Chop Off! Yeah, I gotta hurry this up. Basically, it's the same as Bone's Eye, so... Yeah, just one of those skeletons. And then here are the Shurikens of Ice. The Scythe of Quakes. The nunchucks, and the Nunchucks of Lightning. 
Alright, I'm gonna clear all of these things away and just get to the tower. Yes, yeah, so you saw just saw the feature. Basically you put a minifigure on this stand and then put the lid on and then whip them. Yeah. Alright, just Alright. Just let's start off bottom up. I mean let's start off front side and back. Um here is the sort of drawbridge. I gotta hurry this up. I think I got three minutes. And the bones. Here's the sort of walkway in there. And there, here's the behind the skull. Here's like the staircase and sort of like deck, prison, and yeah, the extra, all the extra details. Here's Garmadon's throne that can come off and fly. So it's nice. Um, yeah, let me just put Garmadon in there, and yeah, basically he just sticks on, he's like Empire, and then here's these flick fire missile towers, these are actually really nice, because they use power miner wheels, like, used in the Thunder Driller, if you look, these black ones right there, yeah, this is filmed in my room, um, Basically, if you just pull this, it spins around, and there's, like, a place for them to man them. And then... God. Yeah, but that's... You have to, like, hold it down and then flick. You you know what they, these are, but... They're, like, they're cool little flick fire missiles. And there's quite the Halloween theme of this. Like, I'm actually going to be putting this up on Halloween. Um, like, Lego Leo Kim video suggested... Yeah, but here's like sort of a walkway, chocolate colored Lego. Yeah, very nice detail. This is probably the only complaint I have. The back. But first, you may not suspect anything of this skull, right? You know, it's just kind of some, something there you can't do without. But if you press this button, boff, it attacks you. It's prob that's probably the coolest feature and turns into a deadly spider to eat all the minifigures carnivorously. Basically you push that and it just falls off. But it it's really I think the tower looks pretty empty on the front without it, so it's a really cool feature. By the way guys, this is way overpriced in my opinion. It's a nice tower, but I'd make it about in my opinion, 60, 70. This is what it's worth. Um, on the back. Basically, I have a spider. This is just empty space up in the top with gray bricks and these windows. Basically, you get two bone axes. I'm really running out of time. Yep, and that's nice. And you just put them in here. There's a Kai Wanted sticker. Not many stickers in this set, too. And then, basically, there's this table in there sorry if it's really gloomy but it's like yeah there's like a chalice and stuff in there and then there's this, the prison that's very small you're supposed to put Nia in there because she's captured it's actually easy to put her in there and then you close the prison gates that's actually basically it um, there's not many features to this set, but it's actually very playable. <laughs> I played with it a lot last night. I actually forgot about a midterm that I had that morning, this morning. God, was that hell. But anyways, um, yeah, it's been the LEGO Master Devon. With one announcement, there's a quick view of my LEGO collection. Yeah, yeah, but it's been the LEGO Master Devon. This is an awesome set, and I totally recommend it. Um, first off, here's the ninja trading card. Just ask you guys, I have like 30 seconds, but what should I do with this? Comment and say if I should open it or keep it sealed. Just, yeah. So it's been the LEGO Master Devin, signing off with one awesome set.